If you want to be a top tier farmer in Valheim, you've got to wear this gear. In time, I'm going to tell you what makes it great as well as how and where to get it. First, we will cover the farming basics, the benefits of farming, and a complete overview of every farmable crop and tree with some bonus tips and tricks throughout. With robust farm infrastructure, you'll be able to craft hardy meals, build greater structures, and rid yourself of the backbreaking task of gathering these resources. Stay tuned to the end where I will reveal the best biome to build your farm. First, let's build a strong foundation by first covering the farming basics. To start farming, you need two things. First, something to plant, and two, a tool to do the planting. In the Bronze Age, you will craft the cultivator at a forge by combining bronze and core wood. At this stage, you will likely have found tree seeds, such as birch or beech, from trees in the meadows, or perhaps you have been lucky enough to find carrot seeds in the black forest. To plant crops, you need to first cultivate the earth by selecting the cultivate option with your cultivator and left clicking on the ground, turning the earth a darker color. Once done and with the carrot seeds in hand, select the carrot planting option on your cultivator menu and left click on the darkened earth. As you discover additional seed types, you will be able to plant each of them in the exact same way. Tree seeds, on the other hand, do not need cultivated earth to be planted and uncultivated ground will work just fine. I will cover the full details of each crop and tree later in this video. Every crop and tree must meet three criteria to successfully grow. First, it must be planted in the correct biome. If planted in the incorrect biome, the seed or sapling will brown and shrivel up and display the text, can't grow in this environment. More on this a little bit later. Second, the crop needs sufficient space to grow successfully. If planted too close to another crop or structure such as a wall or rock, the crop will shrivel and display the text, needs more room to grow. Generally, a crop needs one meter of space on all sides to reach maturity. You can test this by placing a one by one floor piece adjacent to the crop. In my experience, the game is pretty forgiving with your crop placement, but you can always check your placement with this trick. Trees, on the other hand, have a larger requirement for growth space that we will discuss later in this video. Third, a crop needs sufficient sunlight. To illustrate, I built a small shelter above this crop. As you can see, the crop shrivels and displays the text needs an open sky. Environmental structures like rocks and trees can act as shade to prevent your crops from growing, so ensure your farm is in open areas. If all three of these conditions are met, your crops will mature based on the individual crop's growth time, ranging anywhere from 3,000 to 8,000 seconds. For context, one full day and night cycle in Valheim is 30 minutes or 1800 seconds. Before we transition into detailing each crop, I will share one quick tip. Build a workbench near your farm as monsters cannot spawn within their radius, and secondly, build a wall or moat around your farmland to further protect them. Creatures will invade and destroy your crops if given the opportunity. Any experienced Valheim player will know you will need a massive quantity of wood to supply your building projects. To minimize your travel to lumber locations, you can benefit greatly by replanting forests. Plus, you cannot beat the aesthetic of a cozy wooded home in Valheim. In all, there are five tree types that can be planted and regrown. The beech, birch, and oak trees, all native to the meadows, the birch tree can also be found in the plains. The fir tree, which can be found naturally in three biomes in the black forest, swamp, and mountains. And finally, the pine tree in the black forest. There are also egrazal shoots in the mistlands and ancient trees in the swamp that can be cut down for their wood but cannot be replanted. The seeds, cones, and acorns required to plant and grow these trees are found with a relatively small drop chance from cut down trees. As mentioned previously, trees do not require cultivated earth to grow but must meet all three conditions as described in the farming basics section. However, Unlike most crops, trees require more growth space than 1 meter to reach maturity. The beech, birch, fir, and pine trees each require 2 meters of free space as illustrated by this 2x2 two two floor piece. On the contrary, the oak tree requires a full 3 meters of free space as illustrated by combining the 2x2 two two and 1x1 one one floor piece. I have compiled a table summarizing every single attribute associated with these trees that you will need to become a master arborist. Take a moment to review this table before we dive into Valheim's crops. Building a robust farm will open a resource pipeline into your kitchen, giving you an endless supply of life-saving foods. To accelerate your farming, you must consider buying clothing from Hildir's shop that provides a reduction in stamina consumption, as shown in this side-by-side -side comparison of my cultivation. If you look closely, without the gear, I consume 5 stamina per click. With the Hildir's tunic and hat, I have a 35% reduced stamina consumption, resulting in only 3 stamina per click. I believe this only works in the range of a workbench, but I am hoping someone in the comments can confirm this for me. This will massively increase your farming efficiency if used. In total, there are seven farmable crops as of the Mistlands update starting with carrots. Carrot seeds are first found on the floor of the black forest as white flowers. Each white flower will yield you three seeds. These can be planted in the meadows, black forest, or plains, and when matured will grant you three carrots. Alternatively, planted carrots yield three carrot seeds. Carrots can be put to great use immediately by unlocking the recipe for the carrot soup, deer stew, and minced meat sauce, and much later will be critical in cooking the excellent Mistlands health food in the Mist Hair Supreme. Make sure you reserve two carrots for crafting the Cauldron Upgrade and the Spice Rack. 
Second is the onion. Onion seeds are found within chests in the mountain's biome in either huts or ruins. Like carrots, they can be planted in the meadows, black forests, and plains. Planted onion seeds will yield three onions and vice versa. Onions are a key ingredient in the cheap but powerful stamina food in the onion soup and the health food in the wolf skewer. Like the carrots, you will need an abundance of onions for the salad recipe in the mistlands. Thirdly are turnips. These are the most elusive of the seeds and are found on the floor of the swamp. Much of the swamp biome is covered in water and therefore the spawn frequency of the yellow flowers that sprout turnip seeds are drastically reduced. Once found, you can plant turnip seeds in any biome except for the mountains. Each turnip seed will produce three turnips and vice versa. You can immediately upgrade your food game with the black soup and turnip stew with the acquisition of turnips. However, you should save some for the mistlands as they are a key ingredient in the powerful iter food in the stuffed mushroom. And like the carrots, save three turnips to use in the crafting of the spice rack. The plains biome introduces two additional crops with the unique use cases in the barley and flax. Both barley and flax are exclusively grown in the plains and are discovered by the raiding of the feeling camps. Neither flax or barley spawns are guaranteed at any feeling camp so expect to raid quite a few of these. Unlike the previous crops, flax and barley do not have seeds but rather they can be replanted themselves yielding twice the amount when harvested at maturity. Pro tip, to accelerate the farming of these crops you can use a secondary spinning attack of any of the game's polearm weapons such as the black at gear. However, this will not work on any other crop aside from flax and barley. Once you have a comfortable stockpile of barley, you can grind it into flour with a windmill and either bake the flour into bread, blood pudding, fish wraps, or a lox pie with the oven. Alternatively, you can combine barley with cloudberries to craft the barley wine base, which can be converted to fire resistance, providing barley wine and a fermenter. Flax, on the other hand, is unlike any of the other crops on this list in that rather than being used as a food ingredient, it is rather used to craft the black metal weapons, padded armor, and the Mistlands Eiter Weep Sorcerer set. Spin your flax into linen thread at the spinning wheel to enable the recipes for the weapons and armor mentioned above. The Mistlands introduced two new crops in the Mage Caps and Jotun Puffs. First, the Mage Caps can be picked from the ground typically found at the peak of jutting sharp rocks within the biome. Like barley and flax, Mage Caps and Jotun Puffs do not have seeds but rather are planted themselves but can only grow successfully in their native biome, the mistlands. Once mature, they yield three times their planted value. They each do have an increased required growth space at 1.6 meters according to the wiki, but I have found one meter to typically work. However, for whatever reason, I have found mage caps more fickle. Experiment yourselves to find the proper spacing. Mage caps will primarily be used in crafting magic boosting food and meads with the stuffed mushroom, mead base for minor iter, and the seeker aspic. Jotun puffs, on the contrary, are found at low lying points between the endless cliffs of the mist. Lands. However, similarly, they are key ingredients in four endgame food recipes in the Mist Hair Supreme, Honey Glazed Chicken, Mushroom Omelette, and Salad. Secondly, they are involved in crafting the mead base for lingering stamina and minor iter. Like what we saw with the trees, I have summarized all the attributes you could ever need to know for each of the seven crops. As you can see, the plains stands out as the optimal farming biome, but unfortunately, you will not be able to avoid farming in the treacherous mistlands if you want to farm mage caps and jotun puffs. With a solid understanding of how to best farm in Valheim, you can now put those ingredients to their best use by following my complete guide to food showing on screen now.